Getting old doesn't mean you can do whatever you want, but some grandmas think they're above the law. And today we're breaking down wild videos where entitled grandmas try to fight cops. Driving with the busted tail light isn't usually a big deal, but this entitled grandma turned a ticket into a felony arrest. A cop pulled over a 65-year-old woman named Miss Hamill for driving with a broken tail light on her truck. While the officer was getting her license and insurance, he froze because he recognized her name. He asked her if she knew a guy named Hank Hamill, and it turns out that was Miss Hamill's son. Apparently, driving with broken lights runs in the Hamill family, because Hank Hamill actually got busted for driving with a broken tail light too. The officer asked Miss Hamill how long she had been driving with the busted tail light, and she told him it had been around six months. If the light had just been broken recently, the officer probably would have let her go with a warning. But driving around like that for half a year proved that Miss Hamill wasn't thinking about getting it fixed anytime soon. Miss Hamill said she wanted to replace the whole bed of her truck, and that's why she didn't fix the light. But the officer told her she was going to get a ticket over the situation. The officer said he was giving her an $80 ticket, and that's when Miss Hamill freaked out. The officer asked her to sign the citation, but Miss Hamill refused and said she didn't deserve to pay 80 bucks for something like that. When Miss Hamill told the officer she wasn't going to sign the ticket, he asked her to get out of the truck because she was under arrest. But instead of listening to him, Miss Hamill just said no and rolled up her window. The officer told her again that she was under arrest, but then Miss Hamill said, I'm placing you under arrest. Step you out. You are full of because you're not placing me under no damn arrest. Step out. No, I'm not. The officer and Miss Hamill went back and forth for a minute. Then Miss Hamill told him to just hand over the ticket and she would sign it. By that point, she had already resisted arrest though, and the officer told her they were already past just getting the ticket. Miss Hamill could have gotten off easy if she got out of the truck, but then she pulled the crazy move that the officer definitely didn't see coming. Miss Hamill drove off to try to get away, but the officer hopped in his cruiser and chased her down. Then she pulled into a parking lot and the officer drew his gun and told her to get out of the truck. Miss Hamill still wouldn't listen though, so the officer grabbed her arm and dragged her out of the truck. While she was on the ground, Miss Hamill kept fighting and wouldn't put her hands behind her back. She even tried to kick the officer, and that's when he stepped back and brought out the taser. The officer tased Miss Hamill, but she still tried to resist until he threatened to hit her with the taser again. She finally let him put cuffs on her, and the officer called for backup and an ambulance to come and make sure Miss Hamill was alright. It's clear that the officer didn't want to tase an entitled grandma like that, but she really didn't give him a chance. When someone runs from the police and tries to resist arrest, the cops have to stop them even if they're a 65 year old lady. After Miss Hamill finally calmed down, the officer put her in the back of his cruiser and tried to talk to her about the situation. Miss Hamill said he didn't have to tase her, and when the officer told her that he did it because she tried to kick him, she said, Yeah, I tried to kick you because yeah. I'm a country girl because no, I and didn't. You got like tased because of it. Miss Hamill could have signed the ticket and got out of the situation without any drama, but instead, she acted entitled and ended up getting tossed on the ground, tased, and thrown in jail all over an $80 ticket, just like this next entitled grandma. Employees at a Wendy's in Ohio called the police because a woman named Dina was making a scene. Dina and her husband went to Wendy's with their grandkids to get some food. But when the employees messed up Dina's order and gave her a hamburger instead of the chicken nuggets she wanted, Dina went wild. Dina I'm not telling you my name. I'm not telling okay, you. Okay, that's, that's just another charge. If you don't want to identify care. yourself, you can sit in jail until we die identify it. Dina started pounding on the doors, and when that didn't work, she walked to the drive through and was yelling about the food. The employees tried to calm her down, but then Dina threw her hamburger right into a girl's face who was working there. When the cops showed up, Dina was outside screaming at the Wendy's employees. The officers tried to make her relax, but one of them went inside to figure out what happened. The girl who got hit in the face with the burger told the officer she wanted to press charges. Dina probably would have walked out of the situation without getting arrested, but when the cops asked her for her ID, she told them she wasn't going to talk. The officers put handcuffs on Dina, and that's when her husband Marlon started to hop out of their van and confront the police. But as soon as he opened the door, the cops jumped in and told him to sit back or he was going to get arrested too. Marlon got back in the van, but wouldn't tell the officers his name. The officers told him to get out of the van so they could question him. And when Marlon refused to move, the cops dragged him out and put him in cuffs while Marlon and Dina's grandkids started screaming in the back seat. Since Marlon and Dina wouldn't cooperate, the officers had to talk to the kids to get in touch with their mom. They told the kids' mom what happened, and a few minutes later, she showed up to get her kids. It was a bad situation for the little kids to see, but the officers calmed them down and gave them some food until their mom got to the scene and picked them up. When Dina's daughter showed up, she was clearly upset about how her mom acted in front of the kids. She told Dina to cooperate with the officers because otherwise, she was going to catch more charges and that it would be even more expensive to pay her bail. 
Dina was still acting entitled and yelling about how officers put Marlon in handcuffs even though he had problems with his shoulders. It looked like she was going to make the situation even worse, but finally she calmed down and told the officer her name and social security number. Being an entitled grandma didn't just get Dina arrested, it also had a big impact on her grandkids. And Dina's daughter even told her, Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, we'll shut this and then we'll talk about the video okay. real quick. So, you're traumatizing my kids, dude. Dina's daughter felt bad about the whole situation and even asked the officer if she could apologize to the Wendy's employees. When everything was over, the grandfather Marlon got hit with charges for obstructing official business and resisting arrest. And the grandmother Dina was booked for obstructing official business, criminal damaging property, and assault. Getting arrested over a messed up Wendy's order is crazy, but just wait till you see an entitled grandma get into a shootout with the police. Before we get to that though, check out this 70 year old lady who pulled a gun on an officer. In 2021, Lieutenant Frank Firth, no, not the German sausage, from the Minnesota State Patrol, spotted a car swerving on the road and pulled it over. Lieutenant Frank Firth ran the place and found out that the car belonged to a 70-year-old woman named Jean Ann Henson and that there was a warrant out for arrest. Handling an old woman like that shouldn't have been an issue, but nobody expected what was about to happen. When Lieutenant Frank Firth pulled Jean Ann Henson over, she explained that Jean was about to drive down a one-way street and was driving in the middle of two lanes. The lieutenant told Jean that something came up when she ran Jean's license plates, and that's when Jean showed how much of an entitled grandma she really was. Lieutenant Frank Firth patted Jean down to make sure she didn't have any weapons on her. Then the lieutenant asked Jean to take a seat in the back of the police cruiser because something came up on Jean's plates. Jean said she didn't want to sit in the back of the cop car though and started walking back to her own vehicle. Lieutenant Frank first tried to stop Jean from getting in the car, but Jean got into the driver's seat and that's when the situation almost turned deadly. When the old lady got into her car, she reached over and grabbed a gun and pointed it right at the officer. The lieutenant ran for cover and yelled that the grandma had a gun. Then the officer drew her own pistol, but Jean took off and drove away. Lieutenant Frank first tried to follow Jean, but by the time the lieutenant got back to her cruiser, Jean had disappeared. More officers showed up to help track Jean down, while Lieutenant Frank first tried to calm down and give directions to where Jean might have gone. By the time the police found Jean, she had climbed onto a bridge and was drinking a bottle of tequila and had the pistol in her waistband. A SWAT team eventually showed up and was able to arrest Jean, and it turns out that she didn't even have a real gun. It was just a bunch of foil and duct tape she put together to look like a pistol. Pulling out a fake gun like that could have gotten Jean killed, but luckily nobody got hurt. Jean couldn't actually shoot anyone with her duct tape gun, but this next entitled grandma brought a real gun to the police station and got into a shootout with the cops. A 51-year-old woman named Suzanne LaPrize walked into the police station in Bristol, Connecticut, holding a pistol. Nobody's at the front desk, so she started banging on the windows with the gun. Nobody showed up at first, and that's when Suzanne pointed the gun at the lobby windows and started shooting. After she let off a few rounds into the glass, Suzanne stopped to take her jacket off, then picked her gun back up and fired a few more shots. While she was shooting, the officers inside the station tried to calm her down and get Suzanne to put the gun down. She made it clear she wasn't going to listen though, and that's when one of the officers started shooting back. He fired two shots in Suzanne's direction, but the lobby windows were made of bulletproof glass so nobody actually got hit. After the officers returned fire, Suzanne finally put her gun down, and that's when the officers rushed in and tased her. Shooting at the police will usually get you killed, but luckily for Suzanne, the officers realized they could arrest her without having to use their guns. Suzanne was charged with criminal attempted murder and a bunch of other charges, and nobody knows why she went to the police station with a gun in the first place. After the story broke, reports came out that Suzanne used to work for the State Department of Developmental Services for 12 years. She was allegedly at a bar that night before going to the station, and Suzanne allegedly told someone she was going to the station to tell the officers to kill me or I will shoot them. It's clear that Suzanne wasn't thinking straight, but luckily the officers were able to handle the situation without anyone getting hurt. If you like this video, check out the video on screen right now.